From the moment they hatch, the egg industry subjects chicks to horrors few of us can even imagine. At the hatchery, workers quickly and roughly sort the males from the females. Because male chicks don't lay eggs and do not grow quickly enough to be raised profitably for meat, they are killed within hours after hatching. Male chicks are typically thrown into giant grinding machines while still alive. This practice is deemed standard and acceptable by the egg industry. Another killing method is to drop male chicks into trash bags to be smothered or suffocated. More than 200 million unwanted male chicks are killed on their first day of life each year in the United States. The females have it even worse, destined for a life of prolonged cruelty. To reduce pecking induced by overcrowded living conditions, workers use a hot blade or laser to remove part of the chick's beaks. This mutilation can cause both acute and chronic pain. After debeaking, the birds are moved to cages where they will spend the rest of their lives. Nearly 95% of egg-laying hens spend their lives confined in tiny wire cages like this. Most birds never see sunlight or breathe fresh air. They are packed so tightly they cannot even spread their wings, walk or turn around without pushing other birds aside. The harsh and unrelenting environment of the cage takes its toll, often leading to severe feather loss, open wounds, and birds trapped in cage wire. For many hens, the stressful confinement is too much, leading to premature death. Undercover investigations at egg farms from coast to coast have revealed a culture of cruelty and neglect, including workers stomping on birds throwing live hens on dead piles and in trash cans, and painfully mangling bird spines in botched attempts to break their necks. At one or two years of age, when a hen's egg production begins to decline, she is violently ripped from her cage. Workers often fling the birds into metal carts where they are painfully suffocated with carbon dioxide. Crowded by the thousands into filthy sheds, chickens and turkeys are denied many of their most basic natural behaviors and needs, such as fresh air and exercise. Through genetic selection, chickens and turkeys raised for meat have been bred to grow so large so quickly that many suffer crippling leg disorders, chronic joint pain, and even fatal heart attacks. Sick or injured birds often have their necks broken. Others are clubbed to death. Those who live to reach market weight are thrown into transport crates and loaded onto trucks bound for slaughter plants. Handling is often violent and frequently causes bruises, broken bones and other injuries. At the slaughter plant, the birds are dumped from their crates, then roughly snapped upside down into moving shackles by their fragile legs. From there, the birds are dragged through an electrified vat of water which renders them paralyzed, but not necessarily unconscious. They are then pulled across a blade which slices their throats, causing blood to pour from their necks. Some of the birds who miss the blade have their throats slit or their heads ripped off by a backup killer. Other birds are drowned and scalded in the tanks of hot water designed to loosen the birds' feathers. 